the United Nations Security Council imposed an arms embargo on the Houthi militia. The measure proposed by the UAE expands a targeted UN arms embargo to the whole group. The resolution received 11 votes in favor, while the remaining four council members, Ireland, Mexico, Brazil and Norway, abstained. The Security Council repeated that Houthis have engaged in attacks striking civilians and their infrastructure in Yemen and indiscriminately used landmines. More details are in the following report. On Monday, the United Nations Security Council voted on a draft resolution in Yemen that broadens the scope of an existing arms embargo targeting the Houthi militia's commanders, notably Abdul Malik al Houthi, to include the whole membership of the Iran backed group. Furthermore, the resolution designates the Houthis as a terrorist organization following a continuous series of cross border drones and missile assaults targeting the UAE and Saudi Arabia, as well as a slew of other transgressions harming Yemenis and the international community. It also extends financial sanctions and a travel ban on prominent Houthi militia members for another year. The UAE proposed Security Council Resolution 2624 condemns the continued transfer of weapons and weapon components to the Houthis from outside Yemen in violation of Resolution 2216. It calls on all UN member states to boost up efforts to fight the smuggling of weapons and components via land and maritime routes in order to ensure the targeted arms embargo's enforcement. Iran is suspected of supplying the Houthis with anti-tank, guided missiles, sea mines, explosive-laden drones, ballistic and cruise missiles, unmanned maritime vehicles, and a growing arsenal of advanced weaponry and technology. The resolution stresses that the new measures are not intended to have adverse humanitarian consequences for the civilian population of Yemen, nor civilian access to humanitarian assistance, commercial airports, or remittances. It also urges governments to apply sanctions in full compliance with international law standards, particularly human and human rights law. Aside from the ongoing cross-border attacks on the UAE and Saudi Arabia, the Houthis' designation as a terrorist group takes into account their attacks on civilians and civilian infrastructure in Yemen, their acts of violence against politically active and professional women, the recruitment of children into the war, their discrimination against marginalized communities, and their use of landmines. According to the resolution's text, the Houthis have also obstructed the delivery of humanitarian assistance to Yemen and that sexual violence and violence against children during armed conflict are sanctionable acts that threaten the peace, security and stability of Yemen.